Hello and welcome back to DJD Entertainment. My name is Darcy and today I will be discussing how to control DMX lighting systems using addresses and universes. Let's get started. Now, when controlling a DMX lighting system, you need to have all of your lights and fixtures already plugged in and linked together. I am going to be using the same fixtures that are wired up in the last video. If you haven't seen that video, please click the link in the iCard above. To start, you need to turn on all of your fixtures and your lighting console. Head over to your first fixture in your DMX daisy chain. In my case, it is an LED quad bar. Look up the user manual for your fixture online and find the section that says DMX channel mode. Most fixtures have more than one mode. For example, on this fixture, I can control just the red, green, blue and white colour of the LED in mode 1 which takes up four addresses. Or I can control the red, green, blue and white colors of the first fixture as well as a master dimmer and a strobe ray. For this demonstration, I will be using the four channel mode. So we want to go back to our first fixture and put it in four channel mode. Then you need to go to your DMX address setting and set this first fixture to address 001. Now head over to your next fixture in your DMX daisy chain. In my case it is another LED quad bar and repeat the same step as before of setting the first fixture to 4 channel mode, but this time you are going to set the address of the second fixture to address number 5, as the first fixture occupies addresses 1 to 4, and the second fixture will take up addresses 5 to 8. Now, this third fixture is a bit different to the other two as it uses DMX SIP switches instead of a fancy LED display. To figure out DIP switches, you can either download an app like this one on the Apple App Store, or you can check out the video in the iCard on how to calculate DIP switches manually. For now, I am going to be using the app as it saves a lot of time, but I do recommend learning how to calculate DIP switches manually. When working with DMX dip switches, open up your app and type in the DMX address number you want to address your fixture to. In my case, I know that my second fixture occupies four addresses and starts at address five. So therefore, the second fixture uses addresses five to eight. And I want to address this third fixture to address nine. So I type nine into the app and it shows me what switches to flip on and which ones to flip off. Using the diagram on the app, copy the dip switch pattern onto the dip switches on the back of your light. I'm going to speed this part up as it takes quite a while sometimes to do. Now that you have assigned addresses to each of your fixtures, you can head over to your lighting desk. In my case, I am using the Strand Lighting 200 console, which is more of a theatrical desk. But if you would like to know how to use this desk, please click the link in the iCard above. On the desk, there is a series of faders. Each of these faders is called a channel. On this desk, the first fader called channel 1 directly controls address 1 in my DMX daisy chain. This pattern continues for the 40 channels available on this desk. So fader 1, as you can see there, will correspond to the red in the first fixture. Now if I want to control the red in the second fixture, I can go to the fifth channel and the red comes up. I can also do color mixing with this. So if I wanted some, you know, another color like white maybe, I can put some white in 
as you can see it's going a bit more pale let's add some more let's add some green and blue yeah there we go and then of course we can't miss the atomic strobe firstly you got to put up it has like a this is on channel 9 if you remember what we put it on that I put it on and channel 9 when I bring up channel 10 it will start the strobe feature thanks for watching this video I hope this makes more sense now for you on how to control DMX fixtures. If you have any other questions, comments or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below or send me a message on my Instagram account. Remember to like the video if you are enjoying this series of videos as it helps me out in the YouTube algorithm. Also, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and have a great day.